There's actually a lot more ways to blend than just using your fingers. So today I'm going to be going through my four favorite different methods of how to blend without using your fingers. And the first thing is brushes. And I have a whole collection of different shapes, different sizes, different strengths as well. Some of the bristles are a little bit more loose and some of them are a bit firmer like the concealer brush that I'm using. And you don't just have to be limited to traditional art brushes. You can use makeup brushes which are very good as well, especially for small details. And one trick you can do is to transfer the lead directly from a graphite pen and then gradually build up the shade and it's a very nice way of gradually building things up without having to go straight down with a pen and commit to a colour that you might later on regret. The next thing you can use is a paper pencil and this isn't as good for kind of general blending as paintbrushes but it's very good for things like around the eyes, the tear ducts and any kind of slightly more intense shadows. And then if you want something which is a little bit more detailed, you can use sculpting tools. And these are normally used for clay, but you need to think of them as really small fingers. It's got the same effect that your fingers have when you're blending with them, but you can do it on a much smaller level. So you can do those lines in the eyes, you can do hairs for the eyelashes and the eyebrows. And out of all the tools that I've used, these are hands down my favourite. But if you don't have a sculpt tool and you need something which you don't have to go out and buy, the last thing I'm going to mention is a cotton bud and I think pretty much everyone has this. Now some of them are a little bit too firm and they're not going to blend too well if they're a little bit tightly packed so you might want to loosen them up before you blend. And this is going to have a little bit of a kind of similar effect to the paper pencil and the paintbrush but a bit like they're mixed and it's very very good for when you're finishing off a drawing and you just want to do the last touches of shading before you finish off. 